Rescue, rescue, done, two, two, copy. Joint service members from Camp Lemonnier, along with the French military, trained together in a personnel recovery exercise in Djibouti, Africa. Training like this enhances the capabilities of U.S. military and coalition forces to play their different and vital roles when recovering isolated personnel across an area that approaches the size of the continental U.S. When we start to do uh, joint exercises like this, it, it's great to kind of hammer out all the kinks and to kind of figure out what we're gonna what we're gonna expect when we get into the terminal area. We can see the different aspects of different branches of service and, and what they bring to the table. So the more we, we work with different people, uh, the better overall trained that we are. The ultimate goal in any personnel recovery mission is to return isolated personnel to friendly control as quickly and safely as possible. There's always going to be inherent risk in doing what we do, but we have the appropriate uh, procedures and precautionary measures in place to allow us to do what we do safely and effectively. Exercises such as this help enhance joint and coalition interoperability and underscore the importance of personnel recovery around the Horn of Africa. When our isolated personnel fall into the wrong hands, they can be utilized for all sorts of ulterior motives. And so uh, it definitely protects um, our mission out here by uh, keeping our assets and our resources um, out of the hands of the enemy. These exercises continue to solidify joint operations within CJTF HOA in assisting partner countries to strengthen an increasingly stable and developing East Africa. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks.